David Elder, and today on Texas Eats, we're traveling around Central Texas looking for delicious restaurants you won't want to miss. The first stop on today's foodie adventure is in Seguin, Texas. Now we're here in Seguin, Texas to go inside of what used to be a power plant, but now it's a fully functioning kitchen with a great bar and a killer scene. Let's go inside the power plant. Joining me now is Nicole Baptiste, and she's the owner out here at the power plant. Thank you so much for having us out here. This was a functioning power plant at one time, right? It was. It is the original power plant that uh, serviced the city of Seguin. This plant is really cool because it was a power plant. It's a functioning power plant at one time. Now it's a restaurant. So when you come here, you get to visit, check out all the area around it, and you also get to go inside and get a little piece of history. These are some of the largest, juiciest, cheesiest burgers yes. I've ever seen here in Texas. So right here we have our ACDC burger. It's a, a bacon cheeseburger, and you've got a double patty going on there. Look at that. Gooey cheese, you got all the fixings in there, lettuce, tomato, mayonnaise on there, big old slices of crispy bacon, here we go. The power plant's not playing around when it comes to all the different food on the menu, including their burgers. These things, you can get them regular or you can get them massive. I recommend the massive ones, right? That's your double half pound bison burger. Wow, this is gorgeous. Y'all know how to make a good display or a good presentation. Here we go, I'm taking another bite. This is the bison burger. Mm. Love it. Uh, these things are insane. The bison burger, is my favorite burger out here. That's just a good burger. Mm. Cowboy ribeye. This is a bone-in ribeye out here. You got shrimp on the side. They're all butterflied and deep fried. Mixed veggies on there as well. We were actually voted best steak in Seguin this year. What? Congratulations. A nice cook on there as well. Looking at about a medium finish on there. I love the little bit of, of char that you got on the outside there. It has a nice crispy exterior, but it's cooked perfectly so the fat's rendered, and then you have that interior in there. It's nice and warm. It is really, that's just a great steak. I gotta try one of these little shrimp. That's delicious too. The shrimp is cooked nicely, juicy, tender, and you guys know what you're doing out here. Wow. This is the onion ring, breaded deep fried here in house. Mm. They're already calling. Everybody wants it. Everybody wants it. This is our frog dip. And so we have beef inside of the queso with uh, pico and guacamole. Wow. That's a, an appetizer. That's what you want to get when you come out here. You get that put this on chips. This is very have popular. Fun. Very oh, popular. Oh, I bet. Mm -hmm. Looking at this monster right here. This is your chicken fried steak. Southwest style. So this is actually our lineman chicken fried steak. So it's one of our bigger portions of a chicken fried steak. The breading out here at the power plant is so special and they're breading and deep frying a lot of different things out here. Mushrooms, onion rings, a couple other items, but the one you gotta get, the chicken fried steak. What we call Southwest style. So it has pico and queso on top of it. Oh yeah. This is like, if you're like next level hungry, you're going for it. You get it Southwest style, you get the queso and you get the pico de gallo is just smothered in it. And it just makes it that much better. All right, that's the bite right there. Woo. Mm. The queso get does out of here. it. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that's delicious. More people need to make it that way. That is absolutely incredible. That's like two normal orders, right? It is, yes. And the normal order is pretty big for the average person. But they call it the lineman, because I guess it takes a lineman to finish it. But this thing's huge, y'all. This is our Cajun pasta. So it's a little spicy. And little it's, spicy. it's one of our top sellers as well. So you've got some grilled chicken and some grilled shrimp on the side. I just want to try this pasta real quick. Let's get a little bit of that action. Mm. I love that. The Cajun spice to it. Nice gnawing sauce on there. 
The one dish we were told to try by the kitchen is the Cajun pasta. It comes with shrimp on the side, you got some chicken breast on top as well that you can add on, but it's that creamy sauce, that New Orleans sauce is just delicious. It's just got a really good creamy yeah. New Orleans flavor on there. Yeah. A little bit spice, but really it's just flavor forward. Yeah. It's pasta's cooked perfectly, a little bit toast on the side. This is a rocking dish. You have the side items, mac and cheese. You got like a loaded, loaded mashed potatoes out here. You got it all, including a cocktail uh, scene out here, a cocktail program that you guys are just knocking out. This is called our Power Plantarita. It's a top shelf margarita. Oh. oh, that's dangerous. That tastes like goodness after a long day. This is like a sweet tea cocktail, it's right? Power Plant Texas tea. Oh, see? That's dangerous. Put a little bit of lemon on there too. They have a couple signature cocktails on the menu out here, but the one that I really like is their sweet tea cocktail. This thing is just delicious and it goes down real smooth. You guys, this is where it's at. You come out to Seguin, you have to stop here at the power plant. A lot of cool history. You can walk around, enjoy yourself. The river is just right there. There's all kinds of fun places to dine at as well. And it's just delicious food. Over the top drinks. This is where it's at. Give me some foot. <laughs> there you go. This is awesome. I'm gonna keep drinking and eating. I got a lot of food to eat here. Enjoy. Now we're here on the northeast side of San Antonio, right here on Walsham Road, to go inside of a restaurant that's serving up some delicious soul food. Let's go inside Mama Lou's Soul Food and Kitchen. Joining us now is Tasha Willis. In front of us, we have all this delicious food. Everything looks absolutely fantastic out here. But I gotta know, who's Mama Lou? Mama Lou is my great grandmother. Oh, that's her right there. Right here. And then her daughter is Lou Esther, which is my grandmother. Why name a restaurant after her? A lot of people forget where they came from. And we just did it as a tribute to honor our grandmothers. What do we have in front of us? This all looks absolutely delicious. We got some oxtails uh, over rice, mother wow. with brown gravy. Uh, we have our, our pork chop, fried pork chops along with some fried chicken, as well as some fried catfish. Yes. A lot of people haven't tried oxtail before. Oxtail is actually the tail of the cow. Uh, I used to call it brisket, but people told me stop calling it brisket, but it, it is the look cow. How, the look tail how tender it. that is. I mean, it just falls it's apart. Good. We get some of the rice, a little bit of the gravy on there. So is this all your great grandmother's recipes? Or is this just family recipes in general? This is not all of our grandmother's recipes. I actually, we. This is just a tribute to the grandmothers of some good food that they will be proud of that wow. we serve into our community. That's what this is. Incredible. You got to get it with the gravy. You got to get it with the rice. And it just falls apart. It tastes just like brisket. So if you never had it before, you're a little apprehensive about trying it. Imagine brisket, but just stewed up with all the right seasonings, all the right rice and, and gravy on top. I mean, it is fantastic. Extremely tender. I mean, it's just falling right off the bone right there. This is where it's at. Delicious. The rice has a really nice uh, puffy texture to it. And then you have the gravy on there. The sauce is killer. People want to know, you got, do you have fried chicken on the menu? You guys got fried chicken on yes. the menu. Yes. And that's what we have right here. Is this a standard order, like a three piece? Yes, this is a three piece. Our one meat plate comes with three pieces of chicken. Wow. Yes. That looks good. Yes. <laughs> All right, I got to take a bite out of this. Got to see what's going on. Wow. <laughs> it's flavorful. Yeah. It's pretty flavorful. This is loaded. Mm. I love how simple you guys made everything. It's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. It just, it has the essence of salt, pepper, a really good dredge, a nice breading, a good coating on there, yes. fried nice, yes. flavored down to the bone. Yes. But you're doing it right. Yes. Wow. Now we jump over. You have all these proteins, all these entrees, but they're only as good as the sides that come with them. So we have right. over here some different items. Talk to me about what's going on right here. Candy yams. Candy yams. They're real cut candy yams. What you got here? Black eyed peas, mm -hmm. greens, collard greens, and mac and cheese, along with some fried okra. Of course, you gotta have the fried okra going on. Candy yams, what goes into your oh recipe my here? Goodness. You know the right stuff. Butter. <laughs> oh yeah. Brown sugar, cinnamon, the real stuff. The real stuff. <laughs> 
You can smell it. It's mm. Thanksgiving again. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know. That's just a meal in itself. I know. You just order that, you're good to go. <laughs> this is the one. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. <laughs> Everybody loves mac and cheese. Everybody loves mac and cheese. This is where it's at, right here. Mama Loose has a lot of different side items on the menu, including collard greens, fried okra, mac and cheese, black eyed peas. But the one you gotta try is the candied yams. These things are rocking. I'm just taking a tour of the South right now. Get... Rick, it really that's is. That's right. <laughs> that's really what this is. Talk oh, to me about yeah. the different sweets you got going on. Of course, we got that banana pudding. Oh. We got that sweet potato pie. Now, can people, this looks like you got a drive through going on. Can people also come up curbside? Can they pick up food as well? Yes, we got curbside, drive through also call-in orders. So we give out the Mama Lou's card so they can feel free to call in. That way we can have their um, orders ready when they get here. You guys can come out here. It's right on the northeast side of San Antonio. I mean, this is where it's at. You it can is. come get your food, come get your soul food out here. This is where, I mean, get the oxtail. Oh my gosh, you're gonna fall in love with them, especially if you've never had them. Oh. They have the desserts, they got the mac and cheese, they got the fried chicken, the catfish, fried pork chops. Mm -hmm. This is where it's at. And of course, banana pudding. Okay. You making me wanna here eat you something. I'm all, you making me wanna <laughs> eat something right now. And next, we go inside a spot voted the best burgers in Texas. This is it. That's it. This is why you won. That's exactly why. So don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here off San Pedro in San Antonio to go inside of a burger spot that's won a bunch of awards recently, including the best burger in Texas. Let's go inside Papa's Burgers. Joining me now is Robert Walker. He's the owner out here at Papa's Burgers, and this is a spread. This is like what you dream of in your little burger land when you, when you have your eyes closed and you're sleeping at night. Now, why burgers? We wanted to bring the, the traditional old-fashioned burgers back the way they were. Nice, fresh beef, fresh ingredients, toasted bread inside and out. We want something that we can actually not only enjoy at that moment, but remember times gone past. Just amazing, great, lots of flavor without having to add anything to it and missing out on the ingredients themselves. You won best burger in Texas. Yes, sir. Best burger in Texas 2020 uh, with the caliente. And again, it just, it goes back to fresh ingredients. This looks absolutely delicious. Talk to me about what's going on here in the front though. This is actually our Jack Burton. It is uh, three one third pounds, that's up to one pound with uh, three types of cheeses, grilled onions, crispy bacon, absolutely the quintessential <laughs> burger of burgers. That's the burger right that's there. It. That's the one right there. That's the one that people come in and challenge themselves to finish. All right, here we go. The Jack Burton out here at Papa's Burgers. The dough, the bread, the bun, coupled with all the meat that's going on inside, the bacon is perfectly crisp. Look at that. I mean, you have just the ultimate product right here. All the flavors all melt together. Yeah. So when you bite in, it's not just eating the burger, you're experiencing it. The Jack Burton Burger is the ultimate burger bite. You got the three patties on there, all that cheese, the bacon, and the buns just seal the deal. This thing is absolutely delicious, but you gotta come hungry, because it's massive. This is the one that won best burger in the state of Texas 2020. We use grilled jalapenos, grilled onions, we steam pepper jack cheese, we put fresh green leaf lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, toasted bread the same exact way. It's a very foundationally sound burger, but what we've done is with the jalapenos and, and the way that we grill them up, it actually allows you to enjoy the flavor and not just the heat of the jalapenos. All right, so this is the one that won. This is the, the big award winner right That's here. That's the best burger in Texas 2020 right there. Wow. <laughs> the Caliente Burger is the burger that won best burger in Texas for 2020. 
It is simple, it's delicious, and it's just a traditional Americana burger bite. I love the flavors on this. And you've cooked the chicken to where it still has, it's still very moist and tender. And then you still have that little bit of a crunch on the outside, a little bit of a nice sear, but the bacon does the job for the texture in there. And you guys know how to make some crispy bacon. You're doing it right. And then the bologna. It's such a fun little like play around in there. This is just a really good bite. You know how to build flavors and you're doing it very simply, but you're doing it the right way. The what the heck chicken sandwich. I've had bologna a long time, but I'd eat bologna like that if that's the way it's gonna come out. Great flavors, it's fun, it's different. And if you're a chicken sandwich person, this is the one you gotta try. Congratulations on all these awards. You got, I know you're gonna keep doing big things. Um, recently you closed your original location, but you have some big news, right? So we're actually making the announcement on the show, but we've actually had an opportunity to return literally about a mile away from when we first began all of this and won all these amazing awards. So we're going back to the west side and we're gonna be located at Castroville and 36th Street. So we're coming back home to where it all began and we're absolutely excited about returning back to where our roots are and where all of this truly began. That's incredible. And I know a lot of people are gonna be very happy about that. <laughs> yes, they are, <laughs> absolutely. Well, you heard it right here on Texas Eats. Get ready, West Side's coming back to you. Papa's Burgers, this is where it's at. Robert, give me some love. Give me some, there you go. There you go. Incredible food. I highly recommend coming out here, branching out. If you tried the original burgers, try the chicken sandwich, the what the heck. Come out here, try the turkey burger as well. And the Jack Burton. You can't go wrong with that check. I'm thinking about changing the name to the elder. Yeah, hey, <laughs> if you do, let me know. Let me know. And next, we go inside a Texas eatery with some killer French toast. That's dreamy. Thank you. Woo! So don't go anywhere. Texas Eats will be right back. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here on the north side of San Antonio to go inside of a restaurant that's serving up all kinds of sweet items, savory items, and some delicious cocktails. Let's go inside Full Belly Cafe and Bar. Now we're inside of the kitchen and joining me is Chef James. Now you got a crazy menu. You have so many different items that are available, but you're gonna be making one item for us right now is the patty melt. Sure. What's the first thing you do? So the first thing we do now that we've got the bread ready, all right, is we're gonna cut up some slices for it and then we're gonna drop the patty melts. All right, so talk to me about the patty now. I mean, you, it's, is right. it ready to flip? So we've got, I'm feeling that we've got a good caramelization on it on one side. So yeah, let's give it a flip. We flipped the bread already here. And if you see, that's a good sign. <laughs> and that's a great sign right there. Oh, right? wow. And so what I'll do at this point too, is I'll add the cheese because it acts as a natural timer as well. So now you have the bread over here, nice and toasted. What goes next? Off. So we're gonna dress the bread with a homemade Russian dressing. Okay. So another classic component of a patty melt, we make the Russian dressing in house with pickles that we make in house. And so we'll just fire a little bit of this right on here. And I, I like it saucy. <laughs> so I, I'm not afraid to, you know. Sauce I, it I, up, baby. I feel there you like go. If it's, if it's like dripping down your arm, then yeah. that's like the highest compliment. <laughs> Lid goes on. Everything's getting to know each other, and then that's a patty melt. All right, now we're getting ready to eat over here. We have all this delicious food in front of us. We have the patty melt, we have some French toast, we have some braised lamb, tons of desserts and some cocktails. But first, I gotta try the patty melt. Get in you there. made it look so good. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, you know, it's funny how far just some, uh, a good patty, some homemade bread and melted cheese will go. But then you throw in the sauce mm. and the caramelized onions. The bread is made in house, which makes it really special. And then the meat on there is seasoned with caraway seeds, you know, a little salt, a little bit of pepper, but right onto the flat top like that. I mean, this is like as patty melt as it gets. There's a lot of sauce, there's a lot of cheese, and it's a lot of goodness. 
I'm gonna finish this later, but we're gonna jump right over here. You have French toast on the menu. You got like a little bit of totally. everything for everyone. Totally. Talk so, to me about this. So this is the another kind of bread that we're making in house. Uh, the type of bread is it's called a milk bread. Um, it's made with a, a milk powder, and it's similar to a brioche. So it's very light, fluffy, oh, lots man. of butter involved in it. <laughs> That's the bite. Oh, wow. That's dreamy. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> mm. uh, and, and I'll go ahead the and say... Bread. I, it is a sweet dish intentionally, so yeah, if you're this not is, into sweets, this probably isn't the dish for you. No, there's but, nothing subtly sweet about this. No. This is in your face. Every yeah. element of this has a sweet component to it. But, I mean, everything works so well together. If you're like, I'm like an ant, I love sugar. And if you love sugar, this is the dish to get. I love pecan pie. And if you could transform those flavors and then kind of move it over to a French toast, you're doing something right. And this thing is just sweet on sweet. So if you want something really sugary, over the top brunch item, you get the French toast, the pecan pie, and it's just gonna blow your mind. I think decadent is really a good word for you guys. Yeah, um, you. Everything just has these rich, bold flavors. You also have other pastries in house as well. Can people just come in and buy these? Totally, you can You can eat these in house, you can come in. Uh, we have a coffee program going as well. It's absolutely delicious, it's incredible. I love the vibe that you guys got in here. You can socially distance when you come in. There's an outdoor patio as well. I mean, from from breakfast or brunch all the way to dessert, you guys are rocking it. I'm gonna grab this cocktail. If you wanna grab the other one, cheers yeah, to you, sir. Do that. Let's I love do what that. you I'm guys got going here, one. and cheers to your whole team. Right on. Absolutely delicious. When you guys come out here, solid. This is this is it. You gotta try all these items. Maybe not all at once. Come back at different times. If you can eat all this at once, I triple dog dare you. That'd be a wild experience. But this is absolutely, uh, it's phenomenal. And the brunch. Thank you. Coming up later on Texas Eats, we go inside a new fast food joint in San Antonio offering vegan options on the menu. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here in New Braunfels, Texas to check out a drive through margarita and snack shop that's serving up some great treats, perfect for the river. Joining me now is Lexis Wilshire. She is a runner out here at the Texas Margarita Factory, which means she has a little bit of everything, right? You're gonna be making the drinks, you're walking it out to people. You get to be like the face-to-face -face interaction, exactly. right? But you have a lot of crazy stuff on this table, but this is the one, this is crazy. It's like a leg that's just filled with margarita. You got a little whipped cream on top. Talk to me about what's going on. You have 60 ounces of margarita. You can tell me what flavor you want, what color you want, if you're gonna design, if you want anything special. And yeah. um, we do have our souvenir cups just because we are so close to the river and it helps out everyone, you know, no cans, we're on that, no glass or anything. So we just kind of want to help other people in all the ways that we can. <laughs> just kind of help you and you let us know what that's, you like. What look you at the straw, look at that. It's as long as that. That is so cool. Absolutely. So these are all like with the intention of being river safe, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. River safe and alcohol friendly, you know? That's good. It's real good. It's huh? real good. That's dangerous. <laughs> of course, everything that has the alcohol in it is 21 and over when you come by. This is absolutely delicious. And I love the six. Is this like a blend of flavors or is this? It is. So I did a tier. So I yeah. have you your yellow, red, blue, and I just, I just got to be <laughs> free. I just call it the, the Superman. You know, you ever had yeah. the ice cream? I, yeah, I would definitely say this is a standout, huh? Get it? Absolutely. It's a leg. It's a leg. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a real kicker. You know? yeah. <laughs> if the sweet and sour options are just a little too much for you, they also have micheladas, and you can get it with all different kinds of beer. And guess what? They're making their own mix in house, so it's a very unique flavor you can't find anywhere else. You have the lime and the salt on top, so you can give that a little action, but then you go for it. And that's just good. I'd get this in the nachos all day, every day in the drive-thru. And something fun for everybody else, of course, the margaritas, but this is my jam. The good michelada is where it's at. We also have things for the kids and for the whole family, like this little snack pack that's going on right here. And I see some hot Cheetos. We What's going on Cheetos. in the middle? So we do have a pickle and it is wrapped in the fruit roll-up. Just <laughs> for the purpose, I feel like everyone loves that. So you get your sweet and your sour mixed in with it. You have your nerd rope, your sour straws, everything. Oh, it's cut. Okay, I was about it to just is. go for a bite. It's cut. I should have used a fork. Now I'm just going to be messy. Here we go. <laughs> Isn't it good, though? It's like a 
like it. It, has, it just has a good kick. Mm. It's a good kick. It's fun. Absolutely. But man, it's sour. Woo! Now, if you want to get real crazy, they have this out here. This is a syringe shot. Now, this one's the painkiller shot. It's got a shot of booze in it, and you got some jello action going on. It comes in different flavors. I'm going to give this one a shot here. Get it? <laughs> here we go. It is a lot that's in there, but it is really good. It's, I mean, it's very tasty. You couldn't even tell that it's in there, which makes it dangerous as well. But they're fun, and I can tell why they're a very popular item. It's just an extra little thing that you could add onto your trip to make it that much more crazy. We opened this location here in New Braunfels in December because I wanted to give New Braunfels the drive through margarita experience, just like we gave to Pleasanton when we opened in early 2020. So we are known for our souvenir cups. Absolutely. So that is our blue Hawaiian, so it is your sweeter one. Oh. Just so that way you can get a good mix for it. Some people like the sour, some people want more sweet. This has alcohol in it too? Yes. Get out of I'm here. I'm telling you, they're dangerous. This, yes, is, this exactly. is great. You know what I love is you want to have fun. You don't need to get crazy. And this is just like exactly that. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. that's... It's like I, fun in a cup. Is a strong not fun, the best? If that's not your tagline, fun, fun in a cup. Thank you so much, Lexi. Absolutely. This has all been really fun. Now. People can come through here, go to the river. You can get the souvenir cups. They're Absolutely. safe for the river, which makes it really convenient. You can get stuff for the kiddos, or if you got a sweet tooth or a sour tooth, I don't know if that's a thing, you can get one too. The pickles are fantastic. The gummy bears with the pickles, it's a fun combination with chamoy and tahin. And there's this location, there's also another location. Yes, we are also located in Pleasanton, Texas as well. If you ever, if you ever just drive through there, if you're going to the beach or something, we also have a pit stop there, just like you have a pit stop here on the way to the river. Whew. It's kind of your... addicting though, huh? You just want to keep you going? You just can't stop. <laughs> it's good. Thank it you so good. much. Thank you. Mm. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're gonna go inside of a restaurant right near Crossroads Mall in San Antonio, Texas that's serving up all kinds of delicious Mexican and Tex-Mex food. Let's go inside El Chivito and see what they got cooking. Thank you so much for having us out here. Thank you. Now, you have a lot of delicious food that's right in front of us. I mean, you have some media tacos, the queso tacos, you have some empanadas. We're gonna get into all of that, but I have to know how y'all make the, the media that you have out here. What goes into the process of making it? Oh, it's a lot of hours of like <laughs> chopping up the meat, putting all the ingredients, mixing yeah. it all together and having it cook in a slow motion, everything. And be checking it constantly because birria is very delicate. Absolutely delicious looking like that, loaded up. Cilantro, red onions, you got a lime on there, we got to use it. Absolutely, yeah. Of course, it's media in there, so you got to dunk it into the consomme, so here we go. Look at that. Absolutely delicious, great flavors on there. The cheese is melted perfectly, and you even got it to where it has a nice little crust on the outside. Yeah. Um, the cilantro is cut up really nice. I mean, everything you guys are doing, you can tell there's attention into it. If you love birria and you want to try a different interpretation of what that is, you come out here to El Chivito and they have the little tacos. You get them loaded up with cheese in there. Ooh, it's next level. Now, this is like a standard birria taco. Is that yes, what this sir. is? Yes, sir. For so those who don't like cheese, we make these for them. And then you have the consomme. You just drink the consomme, right? That's just <laughs> tasty. Dunk it right into there. Look at that. There we go. a spicy episode of Texas Eats right here. Incredible. I love BD. I think you guys have a really good interpretation of what that is. And you're kind of doing it your own way. Yes. Um, the consomme is really nice. has a good saltiness to it. Y'all obviously know what you're doing out here. Delicious. But now we're going to move on over here. Because you actually have BD of ramen. All right, so this has the consomme already in it, right? Yes, that has the consomme in it. Oh, that's dangerous. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love it. Look, I got a little bit of extra pumps in there. I'm just gonna. Whoop. This is super delicious. I love the texture on the noodles as well. You guys obviously know how to make it good. Look, my nose is running already. <laughs> <laughs> it's spicy. Yeah, we'll keep doing. 
if you love ramen and birria, why not have it together, right? So it's all in the consomme. You have the noodles that are cooked perfectly in there as well. But this one has big chunks of birria, big chunks of beef that are in there. It has all the onions, the cilantro already mixed in. You just go in at it. And it's a lot of food. I and mean, it's just good comfort food. Empanadas on the menu right here, made fresh and then baked to order. Look at that. Oh, oh my goodness. That's really good. Yeah. Everything you have on the menu so far has been really good. It's very delicious. But this is why I would come out here every day of the week for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Delicious texture on the bread. The beans, nice, it's just a nice thin layer, just enough to kind of hold everything together, give it that flavor. The garnitas are so tender. Oh my gosh. They're made fresh. The pickled onions on there, the cabbage, I mean the sauce though. Y'all, if you don't come out here and try this, you're doing something wrong. The one item that really stands out to me, the reason why I'd come back every day of the week, the torta ahogada. You get that loaded up with the cabbage, the pickled onions that are on there as well, just dunked in that sauce, a little bit of hot sauce on top as well. Shut your mouth, that's just goodness. I mean, everything's delicious. You guys, they have fruit cups, you have corn cups, you have the little aguas frescas as well. They're all made fresh in house. You have the horchata, you have watermelon. The jamaica though, that's my favorite. This right here, it's just good. It's just goodness. Barbara, you rock, thank you so much. Give yeah, me some thank elbow. You. Thank, thank you, so thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys, you can't go wrong. Everything's great. I extremely recommend though, the torta ahogada. This is just goodness on goodness. Coming up next on Texas Eats, we go inside a new fast food joint in San Antonio offering vegan options on the menu. Texas Eats will be right back. go to all the delicious restaurants that you see here on the show, you have to have a reliable vehicle. And that's why we're out here today at Big Von Toyota Burning. And with me as always, Chris Franklin, the deal maker. Yo, what's up everybody? Right now we're standing inside of the service center. This is where actually we're gonna come and get your Toyota care done on the vehicles that you're gonna buy out here. And you yep. guys have some great deals going on on RAV4s, right? RAV4s right now, 119 a month. Woo! 119 a 119 month. 119 a month, it's hard to believe. But here's another thing, and that's why we're kind of in the shop you'll get Toyota Care. So you're not gonna pay for oil changes for your first two years. And that's wow. kind of a big deal. That's a huge deal. And that's what they're doing right behind us. I mean, the maintenance is so important, especially where you buy it, you wanna be able to come back and have that relationship with the dealer. And this is where you gotta come. Short drive north of San Antonio. And to get more information on the RAV4 and how to get that deal, where do they go? ToyotaBernie.com. Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're here on the north side of San Antonio in Stone Oak to go inside of a restaurant that's serving up a menu with all plant-based items. Let's go inside Project Foil. Joining me now is the owner and founder, Lucas Bradbury, out here at Project Foil, and we have a lot of delicious food in front of us. And what blows my mind out here, of course, is that everything is plant-based. Yeah, 100%, everything's made of vegetables. There's no dairy, there's no animal products. Everything that we use is made it's, uh, pretty much of soy or uh, coconut oils, different things of the sort. Now, this one, it just looks like a beast. If you found this at another kind of fast food place, I mean, this would be like the one to get. So of course you guys have something like this on your menu. So this to me would be the one I'd come out here for. Yeah, so to start off with, we use a brioche bun on that. You have some ranch, uh, house-made ranch on it. Then we take our crispy house-breaded chicken. We toss it in our spicy garlic buffalo sauce. Then we add on our cashew-based macaroni on top. Then some grilled jalapeno bacon. Put it all together, top it with a pickled jalapeno. Look at that. <laughs> a nice and hot, right out of the kitchen. Look at all that sauce on this side. Here we go, take a bite. Well, give me some elbow. I wouldn't know that that's just plant-based. 100%. It's crazy. Yeah. And it's affordable. 
That's $8 total. That's a really good price for this big of a sandwich. For being a plant-based sandwich, this thing is rocking. I wouldn't even tell that this was plant-based if you didn't tell me that to begin with. I mean, the bacon on there, the chicken that's on the inside, it all has such nice flavors. It tastes authentic, and the texture is the most important part. It's a little bit saucy. It's got a lot of rich, smoky flavors on there as well, but then the mac and cheese, it tastes just like a really good mac and cheese on there. The toasted buns, the little jalapeno that comes on top, it's a really good sandwich. Come take a bite out of this. It does have a little bit of a unique flavor to it, but you wouldn't know that this is all plant-based. Our goal is to challenge chicken and the way it's manufactured and to people, offer people an alternative that not only one is affordable, but two kind of does something a little bit better for the planet right now. This place is extremely affordable, it's approachable, and by going completely plant-based with all these different chicken items, they're actually saving on average about 500 chickens a day. But to know that there's a restaurant like this that's providing a really good product and they're going to help the community and help the environment, um, I think it's a great initiative. Now this is the Caesar wrap, right? It's a chicken Caesar. You got a spinach tortilla, you got fresh chopped romaine, you got kale in there, red onion, some vegan Parmesan cheese, house-made Caesar dressing, and then our hand-breaded crispy chicken. All right, here we go. Oh, that's rocking. That is a lot of crunch. I love the seasoning you have in that breading. That is a really nice product. If you don't want to be as adventurous to go and get this wild sandwich, there's a lot of other options on the menu, including their Caesar salad. And the Caesar salad wrap comes with the Caesar salad just packed inside of a spinach tortilla. And it has the little chicken bites that are in there. But these ones, because they're not sauced, you really get that crunch on that's on the outside. So how many calories is you're looking at about 280. this? 280. 280 yeah. for this wrap, yeah, the whole thing. The, yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. It's a really nice uh, bite on there. I love the spinach tortilla. It has, it has a really nice texture on it as well. But that's sauce. You're like the king of sauces. Yeah, everything's from scratch. Everything's house made. On the menu, you have a particular item. It's the People Project. The People Project was founded, actually, that was like the root of what Project Pollo was, was to have affordable access to plant-based food. So if a guest comes in, they're down on their luck, they don't have any money, um, you know, no problem, we'll take care of it. If you have $2 on you, no problem, you get a full meal, we've got you 100%. If you have $10 on you, that's great, you know, that money goes to feeding others. So kind of the rule of the thumb with the People Project is, when you buy it at $5.50, which is the suggested price, it feeds you plus two other people. The People Project is such a good initiative to have in the community, especially during a time like this, even though they created this before the pandemic even happened. So they were thinking about the people over profit model anyways. It's all gonna pay it forward to help other people out in the community. From the chicken sandwich, you have the Caesar wrap, all the way to the loaded fries. Everything's a home run. And I'm telling you, even if you don't, have you never tried vegan before? Come here, try the food. I think you're gonna get sold on the idea. Project Boyle, the People Project, I think that's a really fun and interesting way to engage the community as well, to do something positive. Yeah, absolutely. If anyone out there in the community is in need or they've just recently lost a job or down on their luck, feel free to reach out. Uh, Lucas at ProjectPoyo.com. Let me know what you need. We'll be happy to bring it to you, get you taken care of. So That's awesome, man. And it's not just these items. Of course, you have some other salads over here to present. And there's other different uh, chicken sandwich options as well. You guys are doing great things. Of course, there's drinks out here. Um, so hit them up. This is where the newest location up here in Stone Oak, but there's other locations across San Antonio, more popping up. Uh, so look out for them. I think you guys really have a cool concept. Keep going, man. Appreciate you. Appreciate Thank you, guys. Thanks so much. I'm going to eat this whole thing. Yeah, go for okay. it. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Texas Eats. And to get more information on all the restaurants you've seen on today's show and a map, just go to our website, ksat.com slash Texas Eats. And to get more information on all the vehicles out here at Vic Vaughn Toyota Bernie, just go to their website, toyotabernie.com. And follow us on social media at KSAT Texas Eats on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget to join us every Saturday at 10 o'clock in the morning right here on KSAT 12, because this is how Texas Eats.